Hey guys, Tony could have been here. Um, so uh, tonight for one of my vlog entries, um, I'm gonna talk about a couple things, in no particular order. Uh, so I recently had a tarot card reading from a friend of mine who uh, is also a fan of tarot cards, and um, I, my question or you know concern that I wanted to ask the cards was, uh, should I keep my part-time job at Kmart, or if I should mention Kmart on the, on YouTube, they might track me down and like report me to the government, or you know get me fired. Worst case scenario, but um, no, um, yeah, I just work in a retail store, Kmart. It's part of the company of Sears. Um, I worked for Sears in the past recently, and uh, I just went to Kmart because uh, all the positions were not commission, or even part commission, and. For someone collecting disability, um, that's a big deal. Because, you know, I can only make a certain amount a month or else I would lose some chances at keeping my benefits, mainly medical insurance. And, you know, of course, the money is great because I get it for doing nothing, just being me. Uh, <laughs> as, as uplifting and downlifting, is that a word? Downlifting? As uplifting and downlifting, that is. Um... Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I asked, um, should I keep this job? Like, I think I was thinking, like, you know, am I going to like it? Is it going to be worth keeping? I hope I get, will I continue to get along with my coworkers, etc. And, um, the cards gave me a different answer that, um, that was the question that I wanted to ask, but what happens many times with, uh, tarot cards, um, Sometimes it sort of reads your mind and understands that that's what you're not really thinking about But the question you ask isn't the main thing on your mind Because a big thing about tarot cards is to get an accurate answer You have to think deeply and feel deeply about what you're asking It has to be very in the moment and at that present time exactly And uh, of course what I was thinking about was um uh, my most recent breakup and uh, just uh, being single in general the heartbreak and heartache of it all um, yeah so the cards mainly focused on that I think I had the two of swords which is basically a heart with two swords forming an X inside of the heart you know like sticking through them like, like something like that something like that with the uh I can't really do this. Is that a heart? I can't really do that that well. I think my hands are too small or something. But anyway, um, yeah, it makes an X like that. And uh, that signifies, obviously, your heart is being almost cut into pieces or stabbed through. And uh, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm romanticizing all of it. Maybe we're just animals. And as animals, we're not supposed to be monogamous. As animals, we're just supposed to fuck each other all the time and procreate and I don't know maybe um I know for a fact um I was having this conversation with the same friend the other night um I can't have sex and not catch feelings with that with that woman any woman um I don't know why I mean, I'm a lover, not a fighter, what can I say? But uh, she, my friend, she claimed uh, that it's because of the astrological sign of mine, the Western astrological sign, which is a cusp between a Cancer and a Leo. But I think on the calendar, I lean more towards the Cancer side than I do in between or more towards the Leo side. So yeah I guess cancers are known for being very emotional and uh which makes sense if you think about it in terms of emotions um the ups and downs if you get if you catch what I'm trying to say or um bipolar disorder for those who don't know the ups and downs are part of bipolar disorder. I'm not sure if you guys knew that or not, but yeah now you know the more you know reading rainbow okay um I don't know why I don't know. It's just, it's encouraging yet discouraging at the same time. Cause I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm soft, you know. 
ain't no punk ass bitch. You know, I'm just I'm saying like you know, not I'm not saying my heart either. Like I didn't, I've never been to prison. You know, I I'm not freaking I don't know Clint Eastwood or something. Come on, um, I don't know. It bothers me that I can't just be and live in the moment. I don't know, but the uh, NBA awards were on tonight, guys. Just to uh, change the subject to something else that I wanted to talk about. Um, Russell Westbrook got the 2016-2017 uh, uh, NBA Most Valuable Player Award, and um, I'm happy for him. Uh, I thought he deserved it. Um, this is coming from a guy who's not a huge fan of his. I won't. I want to say I'm a hater. I just like it really irked me how he handled the whole drama between him and Kevin Durant. Because I just feel like Kevin Durant was just trying to avoid it. And, like, everyone just kept asking Westbrook about it. They kept asking Russ about it over and over and over. And it just, uh... I think he just got tired of it. And then he started, you know... He started his own, you know... I guess you could call it an arrogant side of him. And, like, you know, he made... I feel like he made it more dramatic than he intended to. Because he got... He, he probably just got tired of it, being asked about it. I mean, like, it was the biggest, like, NBA basketball gossip there was in a long time. And, um, I don't know. Of course, getting the MVP is a great honor. And, like, if you're a basketball player, you should be so lucky to get it at least once. And, um, but at the end of the day, Cameron Durant has a ring and Russ does not. So, I'm just saying, I don't know. Cameron Durant was MVP before. He had it before. I don't know. But now Russ has it. Now all Russ needs is a ring. And maybe it won't take him like a few years to do it like it took Kevin Durant to. Maybe. Let's let's be real. This probably wouldn't happen. But maybe if Russ leaves OKC and goes to any championship contending team. And I understand some people think the only championship contenders are the Cavs and the Warriors. But come on. I... I why, why do people always count out the Spurs? Like, even the Rockets. Come on, like, if they added Russell Westbrook to that team, come on. you They would have a chance. But, like, OKC's not a bad team. No, they made the playoffs. They didn't get very far. But, like, dude, like, they're, they're only, only what? In each conference, only eight teams make the uh, playoffs. So, and there's 15 teams in every conference. So, about only half those teams make the playoffs and the Thunder, the OKC Thunder, they had a good playoff seed number. I think they were like fifth or something. Some like they, they weren't eighth. They weren't an eighth seed. They were they were decent. I don't know, I'm talking too much about basketball though, but I'm just trying to take my mind off the whole heartbreak thing, I'm trying to take my mind off work. I'ma do me. You guys do you. Stay frosty, guys.